Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to group layers and set visibility range to the grouped layers in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So in the table of content section, you can able to visualize we have four different layers. We have first layer of places and second is of railroad, third is the states and provinces and the fourth is our country's uh, layer. So from the table of content section, uh, we have the two uh, of these layers or of uh, polygon data. So I could like to uh, group them uh, together in a layer group. So for that, I'm going to use the control key in my keyboard. I'm going to uh, press and hold my control key and use my mouse uh, to select the states and provinces and countries layer. And I'm going to right click and uh, click this option called so once you selected your layers and now we're going to click this option called group. So now to uh, rename this particular new group layer, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to change the name to a polygon data. So now I have entered as polygon data. And uh, so the advantage of having a layer group is that I can uh, untick the its checkbox to stop all layers within the, the group uh, displaying uh, using uh, one click. Let me show you that. So in the polygon data, so we have grouped the states and provinces and the country layer. I'm going to untick this uh, checkbox here. So I can able to uh, turn off both the layers together. And uh, I will show you another way to create a layer group. So now I'm going to right click on the map uh, content pane here. I'm going to right click here and we're going to click this option called uh, new group layer. And now I can uh, the drag the places layer into the new group layer. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag onto, uh, onto this uh, new group layer. So uh, let me click this arrow here. So now you can able to see the places layer inside the new group layer. And I will drag the polygon uh, data group layer, uh, this, this particular one. And place it under the places so that uh, it is uh, it too is a part of the new group layer. So now I'm going to click and drag this layer and place it here so now it is in the new group layer the polygon data and similarly i will drag the railroad uh, to go between the places and the polygon uh, data layer so i'm gonna drag this railroad and gonna place it between the places and the polygon data layer so from the content pane you can able to see now uh, i have a, a little hierarchy of layer groups which enable uh, me to turn the polygon data off or uh, on uh, by uh, ticking uh, this uh, checkbox here. I'm going to turn it, turn it off. I'm going to turn it on. So if I right click on this uh, new group layer to choose properties and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select this option called properties. So uh, you can uh, see that we can set the visibility range for a layer group that uh, can override the visibility range of a layer within it. So to, so to see this, uh, I will close this properties uh, window here. So I will open the properties, the railroad uh, to its uh, general tab here. So I'm going to right click and I click this option called properties. And we navigate to this option, general options here. And uh, I want to stop seeing the railroad uh, in beyond uh, one, uh, one is to uh, 10 million. So this particular option is do not uh, show layers when zoomed. So in beyond, so we're going to add uh, a 10 million. So in beyond I have added as a 10 million and similarly in out beyond. So in beyond we have added one is to uh, 10 million and similarly in out beyond we're going to add the minimum scale to be around uh, one is to 100 million. And now let me click OK. And now let me zoom out. So we have set up a visibility range for the railroad. Uh, let me zoom in and let me turn off this places uh, layer here. And now we are current visibility range is around uh, 1 is to uh, 132 uh, million. So in this uh, particular range, uh, we can't able to see our railroad because uh, we are uh, very out beyond uh, 1 is to 1 million. Well, that is 1 is to 100 million. And now I will use my uh, shift key to zoom to uh, a rectangle in uh, France. So I'm going to hold my shift key and uh, I'm going to zoom to my uh, this particular location in France here. Then I will change my map. The map scale to be uh, 1 is to uh, 20 million. So to, uh, to set 1 is to 20 million, we're going to navigate to the option here. And I'm going to set to 1 is to uh, 20 million. So I'm going to select this 1 is to 20 million. 
and now we're going to turn on my places and uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, railroads in uh, places as well as the polygon data at this scale and now i will change my uh, visibility range to 1 is to 5 million so you're going to select 1 is to 5 million and uh, now uh, we find that uh, we no longer see the railroad uh, layer if i do a fixed uh, zoom out a couple of times so we're going to navigate to this option in the map section and we're going to click this option called fixed zoom out i'm going to click this option and uh, after a couple of times we have uh, fixed zoom it we have we can now able to see the the railroad network here so we are at the visibility range of 1 is to 10 million and now i have decided that uh, when i zoom in uh, beyond uh, 1 is to 15 million i want to see uh, the no uh, the new group layer to be visible and uh, instead just uh, see the topographic uh, base map which is uh, behind it and now i'm going to open the new group layers properties and i'm going to set that and now i'm going to set uh, in uh, in beyond uh, maximum scale i'm going to set 1 is to 15 million so now i have set to 1 is to uh, 15 million so i'm going to click ok so now uh, we see no uh, new layer group uh, the group layer uh, even through uh, we are within the range at which the railroad uh, could otherwise could otherwise draw and i will do a uh, fixed zoom out now and now uh, we see the all of the the new uh, group layers uh, data is coming back so in this video i have shown you grouping uh, layers and setting a visibility range to the group layers in rgis pro so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.